Come, Lord Jesus, come as we take our seats this morning. Come, Father God, pour out your spirit, we pray. Lord, in Jesus' precious name, we thank you, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Shall we all say, come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Pour out your spirit, we pray. Thank you, Holy Father, for this morning, for the gathering of God's children in his house. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. This is the best day of the week when God's children gather together in his presence. And we thank you that our Father is smiling down at us. Shall we all smile? We, Father is smiling down at us. Thank you, Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Lord, we thank you, Father. Every weakness be taken away because of the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time of intercessions and prayer. And we pray, Father God, that, Lord, that you will help us to pray. The Holy Spirit teaches us to pray, even when we don't know how to pray as we ought. So we thank you. And James 1.20, this morning the Lord dropped that scripture into my spirit. Your, the, the righteousness of God is never achieved by the anger of man. Lord, so we pray, Father, our anger, our anger, our offense, our wrath, never, never achieves the righteousness of God. So I want to pray over our lives this morning. There be any offense in our heart. Oh Lord, if there is unforgiveness, Lord, if there is bitterness of spirit against one another, oh Lord, against somebody in the family, Lord, in somebody in the workplace, you're the one who searches our heart. Nothing can be hid from your eagle eyes. You see everyone. You hear the words we speak even in the secret place. So, Father, I pray this morning that you will release all of us. Bring us into the liberty that Christ has won for us, Lord. Because our wrath never works the righteousness of God. So as we pray, as we make intercessions, we ask you for a conscience without offense to God and to man. Lord, I pray that the precious blood of Jesus will be, uh, will be applied over the doorposts of our heart. Lord, I pray, Father God, that the cross Calvary will avail much over our lives, Lord. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we praise you, we praise you. Break down the strongholds of our thoughts, Lord. Break down, Father. Lord, our thoughts, Lord. Bring them into obedience of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray this morning. Please, Lord, apply the precious blood of Jesus over our thoughts, Lord. Father God, I pray that this week will be a week, Lord. As we, Lord, apply the blood of Jesus, we will walk into a conflict-free zone in our own lives, Lord, that there'll be, we'll be free of conflict. Lord Jesus, I pray, Father, in our families, Lord, that we will be rid of conflict, conflicting words, conflicting thoughts, conflicting action, we'll, we'll be rid of, Lord. We pray, Father God, shall we all lift up our heart and wait upon the Lord that he will give us great peace because God is not the author of confusion but of great peace. Lord, I thank you for the peace that passeth all understanding that guards our hearts, Lord. We thank you, Father God. So I pray, I continue to pray for a conflict-free zone in the home. Lord, I pray conflict-free in our inner inner man, our inward thoughts, we will be free of conflict, Lord. Father God, I pray for a spirit of brokenness, Lord, a spirit of great humility, Lord. Lord, even as you were uh, walked this earth with a humble spirit, I pray, Lord, pour upon us, Lord, remove arrogance, remove boastfulness, remove hardness of heart, and pour out a spirit of brokenness, Lord, a broken and a contrite spirit. O oh God, you will never despise, says the scripture. So we thank you, Father God, for the amazing vistas that are available to us, God's people. We thank you, Father God. So I pray, Father, that 
for each one of us personally we want to go stronger in the lord than when we first came in here lord strong in the lord and in the power of his might i pray you will strengthen our inner man lord recover everything that the, that we have lost due to busyness due to uh, lord work uh, responsibilities please lord restore our li prayer lives restore our time with the lord restore our scripture reading i pray lord restore our family prayer times my father lord i pray for restoration of family prayer lord jesus please lord let there be an is lord family prayer in every home father god as you look upon these homes that are represented here you will see them waiting upon the lord father mother and the children together lord oh father god please recover every family prayer altar lord jesus i pray father let there be god the grace of god coming into every home and i pray lord jesus that every work of the evil one any demonic activity anything any sorcery witchcraft divination any ill timed words any curse words lord anything that's coming from the past in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we break them down by the power and the authority that god has given his people in the wonderful name of jesus i pray and god's people will all say amen so let it be wonderful and i also want to pray if there be any of us lord we live with condemnation that's coming from the past that we have heard in our childhood in our early years of our marriage lord any condemnation that is following us i pray father god that you will erase those voices of the past lord erase those voices that are condemning god's people for there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk after the holy spirit thank you my father god so i pray lord i thank you that there is forgiveness with our lord jesus christ thank you lord so we receive everything god has given to us lord thank you holy spirit will you lift up your voice a little bit don't go quiet on me this is our corporate prayer time thank you lord jesus just lift up your voice lift up your voice lord we thank you because god wants to hear your voice and he wants to see your smiling face this morning in the house of the lord thank you lord jesus thank you lord and i want to pray for you over your workplaces that there will be peace 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 lord i pray for peace over your work peace for the labor of your hands look at your hands look at your hands these hands are our ah, blessed hands lord they are favored hands and god will take you you take your work into places you never imagined you could be lord so i bless we bless lord we bless ourselves we bless the labor of our hands lord and with the anointing of the holy spirit coming upon us these ordinary hands are made extraordinary praise god worthy worthy holy god is with us emmanuel god with us lord that is our only strength my father and thank you lord jesus god is our strength a very present help in every trial in every tribulation thank you lord you will lord we walked in with brokenness but you will not leave us with a brokenness lord you will take us in the strength of the lord out of these doors this morning in the wonderful name of jesus shall we lift up a word of prayer over our nation as well father god as a community of god's people as carriers of the light of our lord jesus christ you you are the light of the world thank you lord jesus we are the light of the world we are the salt of the earth and lord this morning we pray we release that light out there outside these doors lord we release the light of christ to our community we release the light to our city we release the light to our nation lord we pray over our leaders father god they do not know you but we know you and god rules this world through his people lord i thank you you said that god rules in the kingdom of men through those holy ones who watch with god so i thank you lord you make us watchers with christ watchers with our god over our land lord and by the words of the righteous the city will be built up so we praise you lord we 
we bless our city we bless our land lord we bless lord and we bring the right rulers at the right time at to the right place father god to take the right decisions lord we pray father god even as people are like sheep without a shepherd you see them like sheep without a shepherd we pray father god for shepherds in our nation lord shepherds who will rule with kindness with 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 good will to our people father god in the wonderful name of jesus we pray we pray over the preacher this morning we bless your servant nirmal father we pray that as he breaks the bread of life that we would all be with open hearts to receive the word of god in jesus name amen god bless you